Welcome back, everybody. This is the Redhead Gamer, and anyway, we're kicking Major Quage in behind. I would say a curse word, but unfortunately, the FCC is watching my every move. Not really, but it makes me sound a lot more awesome if I say it like that. You know what I mean? Great story. So, yeah, I'm gonna share with you guys something. A long time ago, well, not really a long time ago, like a year or two ago, I was walking through a Walmart and me and my dad had to do some motor oil for the car, right? So, you know, it's just an everyday thing. And if you people have seen my avatar picture, you know I'm pale. You know, I'm a redhead, dude. I'm like, I'm really pale. I have red hair. You know, it's just like, that's just how things are, you know? That's just how I look. And get this so I'm in the aisle you know looking at all the different car oils and my dad walks off and I'm still looking at some stuff and I, after a while I decide you know I should probably go find him so I start walking you know trying to find him and everything and this little girl like four five years old comes around the corner and you know she was a, a Latina so she's like looking up at me and she she like gets this look in her eye like she's never seen a redhead before in her life it was like a mixture of like whoa that's cool and fear at the same time and uh you know her mouth drops open and she starts making this weird ah! sounds and i'm like uh okay whatever so i just start walking past her you know trying to find my dad and five seconds later i hear some uh guy in the background I think it was her dad or big brother or something and he goes what's wrong honey and she goes I saw a ghost and oh my self esteem was slaughtered at that very moment you have no idea it was like oh. I didn't say anything though I mean it's a little kid you know what are you gonna do but oh well the world is full of chicken and yeah, that was pretty much my day. Oh yeah, and I also had to explain that same story to my speech class today. <laughs> and uh, afterwards, she had us, uh, the teacher, she had us like re, you know, like re, what, what's the word for that thing? Let me think here. Reevaluate, nah, <sighs> whatever. Recap, yeah, recap, sorry. I'm going crazy right now. Anyway, so. <laughs> In front of the class, I had to be all like, yeah, hello, my name is, insert name here, and I scare little kids. <laughs> it was a great day to be alive, if I do say so myself, my fine YouTubians and people who watch my videos on other sites. Because for some reason, I actually googled my channel name just for the lols, just to see what would pop up. And it turns out a bunch of sites I've never even heard of have my videos on them because, you know, they have, like, this really weird search. Sorry, if this guy's human, how can he survive all these slashes with a katana? I mean, his skin should be literally hanging off his bones by now. I mean, that's just not cool, man. Uh, yeah, my day was quite fun. Or at least that's what I tell myself every day. And yeah, it was quite amazing, actually. And about, uh, yeah, about a few days ago, man, I went to the dance with a few of my bros, you know, it was like, you know, it's my senior year, it's winter formal, so, you know, people are like, yeah, you know, go to the winter dance, oh, -ho. so it's like, oh, okay, that's, you know, that sounds cool, whatever, we might as well go to the winter dance, you know, so, we get there, we dance a bit. And when I'm at parties, I'm kind of crazy, you know, because like, it's not a formal occasion. And when it's not formal, I like to relax a bit, you know. So, you know, I'm sitting on the wall. The DJ, the DJ is awesome, you know. He he was doing good until the power decided to blow on him three times throughout the entire night. First time it was like for a minute, but he got it back up. Some people were mad, but nobody cared. Second time it happened again. Third time it happened, and then like it was off for at least 30 minutes. And people were just getting mad and everything. And me and my friends were singing Journey. And you know, we tried to get everybody else to sing it. I mean, a few people joined, but other than that, not many. It was like, oh, yeah, whatever. Don't join the circle of singing Journey. 
Nobody wants to hear you sing anyway. It's part of the natural order of things, but people will never understand that. People will never understand- Oh, I just got stabbed with a stake. That sucks. Oh. You know, uh, maybe I should just spend some points in presence next time. I mean, it seems like a decent fighter skill. It's just that I haven't upgraded it much to be really useful. I bet you could really do some crazy debuffing with it. And I just stepped on that trap again, but where was I? Oh yeah, so the DJ, you know, it died and for 30 minutes and so. And he finally gets it up. And, you know, we're, we dance. We're just dancing around, you know, everybody. And uh, I'm sweaty as hell, because, you know, I'm one of those people who, like, sits on his arse all day and plays video games and makes these videos for your people's entertainment. Because obviously I have nothing better to do in my life, and that's pretty damn true, actually. You know, my life's alright. I can't complain, but point is. So, you know, we get on the wall when the slow dancing music starts, you know, me and my bros, and we're just hanging out there, and we're doing whatever, you know. Yeah, this is so awesome, you know, whatever. It's boring, not really. And these two girls come up to us and ask us if we want to dance and stuff, you know? So we're like, yeah, sure, you know? And we start dancing, and that's when I realize, oh, crap. <laughs> I'm sweating my arse off here. Like, I was literally soaked. Like, the collar of my shirt was just, like... It was like somebody took a towel, shoved it in a bathtub, filled the bathtub up with water, and then, like, you know, took it out, threw it against the wall, and, like, put it on me. And I, I felt so bad afterwards, but it was kind of funny. You know, like, it was like, ah, ah. Uh, but I felt horrible. So, back to the game for today. As you can see, we're kicking Major Quid. Quajin behind. I said Kui. I almost said Kui. Anyway, I have the serpent, one of these crossbow men, so they can't opponent us. And then we're just gonna feed on this guy and drain him of all his blood because we needed to power our follower of set disciplines, aka Serpentis, or whatever we wanna call it, because it makes us feel alive on the inside, but people don't understand that. I've told you all multiple times I've dreamed about being a tortoise, and I'm gonna tell you one thing that is not a lie. No matter what people say, becoming a tortoise is not a lie. Also, there was a uh, discussion on the Final Nights forums about the Oblery and like whether or not it should be included in the game. In my opinion, I would like it actually included in the game, you know, just like do it with the boss characters or something. Maybe gain like a discipline from it, you know, lose humanity, and you know, they're trying to say that, like, uh, you know, you'd be hunted down and everything, and that's true, but... You know, if you look at it, the PC is pretty OP. I mean, look at what he's able to do. This guy can literally walk into a Quajin stronghold, pwn a bunch of humans, pwn a Quajin, you know, freaking take on elder vampires who are, like, five times his age. He has a big enough blood pool to be at least eighth generation. And he has iron will- well, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, that'd be too much of a spoiler for people who don't know. But, you know, come on, this guy is so overpowered. He's like the ultimate power game character. It's like somebody got Samuel Height into a player character and, like, you know, just decided, hey, I'm gonna play vampire today. And, you know, he just goes around pwning everybody. So what's to say that this crazy PC of ours doesn't have the hidden diablerie merit, you know? A lot of people don't like it though because they think it would ruin the game and it doesn't have its place. You know, that's cool, whatever. But I, I would really like diablerie. That's just my opinion. So you guys can, you know, tell me you guys' opinion. Like, I seriously want to see what you guys think about it. Yeah, that's really all I gotta say. Yeah. Zero Morph, the guy who made the Final Nights mod here, is actually working on the 1.1, so that should be out soon, and we should be able to enjoy it. He's adding a few things to it, like the male salubri model, and uh, what else is he adding? I also heard he was gonna add dialogue specifically for clans, but don't, you know, 
quote me on that. And this part's almost over, so I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.